A 29-year-old man from Schenectady jumped from a plane that was flying at 10,000 feet in the air, and he landed on a house in Duanesburg. Now, state police say he told a skydiving club he just wanted to take some pictures, but then he unhooked his seatbelt and dove out. John Craig has this morning's top story. This guy wasn't a jumper. He just wanted to go for uh, an observer ride. That observer ride resulted in this. 29-year-old Sloan Carafello falling 10,000 feet, hitting this house on Duanesburg Road. State troopers say that it came during a routine flight from the Duanesburg Skydiving Club. A student jumped with his instructor, followed by a skydiving videographer who was there to tape the first-timer's jump. Just before the door was shut, Carafello jumped out and took a picture of himself as he did. Police say the videographer actually caught the incident on a tape. That tape is now with police. Bob Rollins, the owner of the Duanesburg School, was the pilot. I reached over to, to shut the door when, when uh, the jumpers left and he was right behind him. He took uh, pictures of himself in free fall. Those in the plane say they checked Carafello's seatbelt before they jumped and it was solid. Rollins says Carafello was supposed to sit and watch and take pictures, but he unhooked his belt and was gone too. They say Carafello called last week and showed up on a bicycle, but it was after a flight and left. Called several times. He, he had a school project that he wanted to do and uh, was taking a, a shot from an airplane. You know, I don't know. A lot of people that were request requests, so we uh, we took to get up and I decided to. Uh, and his life here, I guess. I don't know. But Carafello, who lived at the YMCA in Schenectady, was back with a camera in hand, ready to go, and signed a waiver to go up. Reached over to get the door. He's gone. No, he couldn't stop him. Long wonder he didn't drag me out. Are you all right? Huh? Are you okay? Well, I'll probably never be okay. <laughs> John Craig, News Channel 13, today. Police say the student and instructor never knew what happened until they reached the ground and someone told them. The man's camera, by the way, has not been found.